Hello and welcome to today's lesson where we're looking at the services marketing triangle. In this video we'll explain the model and we'll also look at an example. So the services marketing triangle shows the key actors involved in marketing a service. It also shows the key marketing activities that occur between those actors. Now before we look at the model it's important to note that we're only concerned with the marketing of services. The model does not apply to products. Now we define services as being intangible. You cannot see them, taste them or touch them. They're inseparable. You cannot separate production from consumption. They're perishable. You cannot store them, save them or return them. And they're heterogeneous, which means you cannot mass produce them as they are unique. Now examples of services include hotel rooms, flights and health club membership. All service businesses are marketed on promises, and these are the promises we make to customers and whether we keep or fail to keep those promises. The services marketing triangle is a visual strategic model, and it reinforces the importance of people in a company's ability to keep its promises. Each actor works together to develop, promote and deliver a company's service. And as you can see from the diagram, we represent actors by the, by the points on the triangle. Our actors are firstly company, and that refers to the leadership team of the company. Secondly, employees, which obviously refers to employees, but it also refers to subcontractors who deliver the company's service. And thirdly, customers, which refers to all customers and potential customers of the company. Now the lines between the points show the different types of marketing that must occur. So we've got external marketing, which occurs between the company and its customers, internal marketing, which occurs between the company and its employees, and finally, interactive marketing, which occurs between the employees and the customers. So let's examine each of these three types of marketing in turn. Now companies use external marketing to make promises to customers. External marketing is any communication to customers or potential customers that happens before service delivery starts. Now forms of external marketing include advertising, personal selling, public relations and direct marketing. And we can use external marketing to achieve many aims including creating awareness of our service, setting price expectations, setting service level expectations, and informing customers of any prerequisites that must be in place before they can use the service. Now, within a service business, we view employees as internal customers. So they are a market which we must please first as a company and the leadership team should be focused on satisfying its employees so that those employees then better want to serve customers. Now, internal marketing involves motivating employees to work as a team to make customers satisfied. Now, this is obviously true for customer service representatives, but it can be equally applied to all employees. And this results in everyone at all levels of the organization being empowered to deliver great customer service. Now the key components of internal marketing include motivating employees, teaching customer satisfaction techniques, uh, communicating company goals to employees regularly, managing change so that disruption is minimized, training staff on how to use the customer's company's services, and good pay and working conditions. Now, interactive marketing occurs when employees and customers interact. It is here where the promises made during external marketing are either kept or broken by employees or subcontractors. Now, each significant interaction between an employee and a customer goes by the name of a service encounter. Now, interactive marketing is important because it establishes both short-term and long-term satisfaction. So what we mean by that is that if the customer is satisfied with the service they receive in the short term, they're more likely to be satisfied over the longer term as well. 
So to wrap things up, let's consider a simple example, that of a luxury hotel. So first let's look at external marketing. Now a luxury hotel may want to educate customers through advertising and public relations. relations. Here, they'll want to inform customers that their rooms have the finest quality fixtures, fittings and toiletries. They're likely to also want to convey that their staff are knowledgeable and very willing to help with whatever request a customer may have. Now, to deliver or facilitate these promises, the company focuses on internal marketing. So it establishes more concierge roles within the hotel than the industry average. This helps ensure that staff feel they have the time they need to help each customer to the best of their ability. And employees are also trained on the local area, local activities and excursions that guests might want to undertake. Now, the company also teaches every employee how to handle and diffuse difficult guests and situations. Now, one of the ways that the hotel handles interactive marketing is as follows. They employ someone to manage their social media presence and reputation. So how this works is suppose a guest tweeted that they are in their room preparing for a very important meeting the next day. So this would be noticed by the member of staff managing the hotel's social media presence. And then the next day, whilst the guest is at their meeting, the hotel might leave a handwritten note and some chocolates in their room. And the note will wish, obviously, that the guest's meeting went well and the chocolates will make them feel as though they're cared about and being listened to. And this makes the customer feel valued in the short term. And it also makes them feel more likely to remain a customer over the long term because they receive that short term wow or short term value. And it also makes them more likely to tell their friends about their experience in this hotel. So to conclude, the services marketing triangle is a strategic marketing model. It provides a visual way of understanding the importance of people within a services business. Now the model is based on the fact that all services businesses are essentially about promises, making promises, and then keeping those promises. Now the business makes promises to its customers through external marketing. The business facilitates its employees to keep those promises through internal marketing. And finally, the business delivers or fails to deliver its promises through interactive marketing. So that's it for today's lesson. Really hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.